Hello everybody, Ryan from Backyard Poker here. I'm here to show you a brand new game that I'm going to be adding to my Backyard Poker video game. As you know, this is the channel dedicated to expanding your poker palette beyond just Texas Hold'em. So I'm very excited today to actually show me creating this game live for my poker video game. And the name of this game is going to be called Jokes on you. And credit where credit is due, this game was actually created by my son. So I'm very excited to actually add this to my Backyard Poker video game. So now I'm going to paste in a description of this game, and I won't go through this. I'll actually show how this game is played as I add it into the uh, game editor here. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go over to my game global settings, and I'm going to set how many cards each player is going to work with. In this case, it'll be seven. This game is similar to seven card stud, where you get two cards down, four cards up, and the last card down, except there'll be a twist on this. And one of the twists on this is that there's wild cards in this game. So I'll go down here to my wild card type, and I'm gonna set it to com card after. And then the card that I'm gonna set it to is the Joker. Yes, I've added Jokers to the game. So this will allow any Joker to be wild and then a specific community card will be flipped over and that will also be wild. So let me show you how that works. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this thing deal out three community cards. So I'm clicking and dragging deal community cards. And I'm going to have it deal here. I'm going to have the next one be dealt here. I'm going to be, these are just the positions on the, on the table in the community portion of the table that it's going to deal these cards to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to instruct the game that these cards are face down, first of all. So I'll uncheck these so they're face down to the players. And they're also wild card indicators. And they are exclusive, so that if this wild card indicator turns over, it excludes any of the other wild card indicators. Okay, so the very first thing that'll happen is three cards will be dealt out to the center. Then I'm going to add three jokers. This is to make sure that I don't deal jokers out as these three cards. I'm only going to add them afterwards. And I'm going to add three jokers into the card deck. And what it'll do is it'll put those jokers in there and then reshuffle the cards. And then we would go and play uh, seven card stud like you normally would. So seven card stud is you deal player, deal the player's cards. So we'll deal a player card in the hole. We'll deal another player card in the hole. And then for seven card stud, we deal with a card face up. So table face up. Then after that is a betting sequence. So we'll do a betting round. And the betting round for seven card stud is the first five, first highest hand opens the betting. And I'll pretty much just leave all the minimum opening and maximum opening bets. The only thing I'll allow is that if a pair or better shows on the table, you can double these bets. So then I do the same thing with uh, dealing another player card and another betting sequence. So this is pretty re repetitive, except for this is not dealt in the hole, it's dealt face up. And the bet is first highest hand again, and we're allowing double the ante on bets and raises if a pair shows. So then we repeat it again. And I'll just fast forward through this right now because it's pretty repetitive. All right, I think we got it. Let's check and see if this game works like I expect it to. So down here, well, first I'm gonna save this game so that I don't lose it. And then I'm gonna actually click on the play test game. So I will be able to load up my poker table 
and test this game out to see if it works the way that I want it to. So you'll see I'm loading up my uh, practice players here. It shows that I'm in play testing on this little table over here. And then these are the actual steps that I programmed in. And hopefully it'll go through the game correctly. So it should deal out three cards to the center. Added the jokers. And now it's dealing out a regular seven card stud game. So I'll just have the players bet for I pass. now. And then... Pass. Knock on wood. Check. Check. So now that the bet's to me, I'll just check. And what's interesting is if a joker turns up. Check. Let's see if that happens. I'll open for oh, 25. Oh, we got somebody breaking the check here. And another quarter. Oh, we got somebody raising. I'll call that. All right. Is that all? I call. Got some pretty active people here at the table. I match the bet. So I'll call the bet. Call. Let's see if... Uh, I'll call. Yep. Pot's right. So <laughs> there we go. We got our, our joker. So now what happens when a joker is dealt out, jokers are wild, and then you flip over the first community card from right to left. So jokers and sixes are wild. Now what happens is if another joker gets dealt face up, Another card will be turned over, and then that will be wild. It replaces the original card over here. So because I got a good hand, I'm looking at three of a kind sevens, two wild cards. And you'll see my wild cards have this little pink uh, shading to it, just so you know that they're wild cards. Since I got three sevens, I'm feeling pretty strong. I'm going to open for a quarter. Open for a quarter. I'm in. Call. Looks like everybody's calling. Call. See if we see any raises. I see your bet. Uh, they must be intimidated by my wild card. I match the bet. Smart players. <laughs> and another one turned over. So. Open for 50. Ryan over here. Is that all? I call. I'll wait for the bet to come to me. Call. So Ryan over here was dealt another joker. As a result of that, this card was turned over, and now the twos and not the sixes are wild now. So every time uh, if another joker were to turn over, then this card right here, whatever that happens to be, would be wild. So now that he's got three tens showing here, and I only have a pair of sevens now, because my uh, sixes uh, stopped being wild, I'm just going to call. Call. I raise 50. Mm, looks like Erica's... Uh... All goody with me. Raise it 50. Oh, of course he's going to raise. Is that all? I call. I should be folding, call. but I'll stay in. Call. Never know what that last joker is going to be. I raise 50. Ooh, another raise. A goody with me. With the 310 showing there? I'm not sure I'll about that. that one. I see your bet. Call. All right. I'm in. Oh, no. 50. That oh, last man. card was I supposed pulled. to be dealt up, and then I get one more card. Pulled. So I created six-card stud instead of seven-card stud. Call. I raise 50. Sprinkles out. Raise it 50. All right. I'm in. I'll call. So it looks All like... Right. Oh, big surprise there. Oh, he has a straight. So with the wild cards, he has a 10 high straight. 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the best I could get was a pair of kings because I lost that 6 as a wild card. Well, this isn't quite the way that the game was supposed to go. And that's why I play test before I actually publish these. So I can quickly fix this by going back to the game editor and adding another deal of a player card face up. 
and a bedding sequence. All right, I'll save this, and now I'll play this one. All right, let's ante up. Deals out the three cards, adds the jokers, reshuffles, and now we're playing seven card stud. Ooh, I got a joker in the hole. So that's automatically a wild. That gives me a pair of aces. See how it shows my hand here? So I'll check for now. Check. I check. I pass. Pass. I check a root. Yeah, that's jokers in the hole. Check. Or adult face up or wild. Knock on wood. Check. Okay, bear, pair of jack showing there. That's a pretty uh, tall hand there. I'll just check. Check. I'll open for 50. Mm. A goodie with me. I'll call that. She must have something really nice in the hole there. Quote them all to you. I match the bet. Of course, pair of jacks will raise. I'm going to call. Call. I raise 50. Hmm. Interesting. A goodie with me. Jokers or some eights and fours in call. her hand, I would imagine. Is that all? I call. Either that or she bluffs really good. Call. I'll call the bet. I'm in. Hmm. No jokers. Knock on wood. Check. Check. All right, I got a straight going. I'm going to open. Open for 25. I raise 50. Wow. A goodie with me. Raise it 50. Paraduces raises. Is that all? I call. With the Parajax calls. That's interesting. Call. I will call. Call. See if she raises again. I yeah. Raise 50. She's raising again. Call. She gave me that wink. That must mean she's bluffing. I'll call that. So there's a bet limit. Is that all? I call. For this game, you can only uh, bet three times or call. raise three times. So. This will definitely be the last uh, call round here. So now, oh, it dealt the four cards up this time. Knock on wood. Check. So that part worked pretty good. Check. But none of the jokers turned up this time. Check. And Check. now she's checking. Hitting you <laughs> with 50. Uh-oh. Raise it 50. Seeing a flush or a straight flush going on over there. Shillings more to you. Oh, raising all over the place. I match the bet. Probably shouldn't stay in, but ah, what the heck. Call. Still one more card down. I raise 50. All right. I'll goodie with me. That's the last raise. I'll call that. I see your bet. I match the bet. Call. Call. Hopefully we get that last card down. There we go. Ugh. Starting with city. I don't know if a straight's going to do it here. I'm seeing flushes, straight flushes. Oh. But I'll just call. Call. I raise 50. Mm. Can't wait Bring to see her hand. 50. Raise it 50. Wow. I'll see your bet. All right. Call. I'm in. A goodie with me. Showdown time. Hot diggity dog. I won. Full house. Full house. Oh, three jacks over two sevens. Wow. Full house, three threes over two twos. Flush and hearts. Didn't have the straight flush. And two pair. She was raising over two pair. Well, yeah, full house will win it. So that worked. I'm uh, pretty satisfied. I'll exit my play testing. Gonna save my game. And now.
this will appear in one of the upcoming Backyard Poker releases, which should be very soon after you see this video. If you're interested in playing the Backyard Poker video game, it's currently in beta. Look in the description. It'll have a link to download it and hope to have some play testers out there. And don't forget to join my Discord where I'll have all kinds of information about my Backyard Poker video game. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.